though something pretty special has turned up in a local wetland. And as Shannon uh, Sladden explains, scientists are saying it's a big deal. There's a carnivorous plant in Theodore Worth Park. Does it have to be mine? But not to worry, it's not as bad as Audrey too. <sighs> it's called Utricularia, more commonly bladderwort. And unless you're its favorite food, you've got nothing to fear. They eat zooplankton, they will occasionally eat some mosquitoes, but not all in one gulp. Anne Marie Journey is a scientist who heads up a group called the Muck Stars. It's a wetland health evaluation team made up of volunteers with special training. She says bladderwort is a good sign for wetlands, which are vital. They don't just store water runoff, they clean it. That wetland vegetation is functioning as a literal catchment and filter for everything that comes from the land that's going to the water. Finding a plant like this means the wetland is working. Tells me that the aquatic system in the water, the submergent plants are getting to be a little bit more complicated than they were. That means a healthy ecosystem. As far as people knew, there weren't any plants like this in the area. That all changed when Muckstar's volunteer Theo Sfano came along. He found it right about there where that little patch of green is. He said, Anne, I think I've got something here. Finding bladderwort here is especially exciting because this is a man-made wetland. There used to be a wet spot here. At one point, it was full of debris from the old um, beach house. Workers created this wetland, installing large numbers of native plants. Bladderwort wasn't one of them, so it being here now is a sign of the wetland's success. And that's important, especially with today's changing climate and the resulting heavy rains. Our wetlands are the places that can absorb um, all of these wild weather events that we're having. If you'd like to know more about bladderwort, you can check out our website, ccxmedia.org.